It is 3 p.m. on Monday, August 27th, 2018, and I am at my desk. And my shirt matches my hair. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, today has been an interesting one. I found out on Friday some information about my project that totally screwed my plans for um, our refurb, which was going to be where we would take our V.1 hardware and then replace a few components on it and reuse it for V2.0 and we'd get a 50% savings over building new hardware. And I was told it would take two weeks to complete and um, that was great, we could do that. But now I'm being told it will take four weeks and I'm supposed to ask teams to give me their hardware for a month and not get anything in exchange. <sighs> Just give it to me now and in a month you'll get the new stuff. Because <laughs> you know you don't have any deadlines or anything you have to do right now. You're just sitting there not doing anything all day, right? So you can give up your hardware, right? Right? The answer is wrong. No, that's not going to work. Um, so my um, my boss is going to try to like beat down the uh, turnaround time back to the two weeks that we were originally told. Because if we do that, then I can collect like 70 units and get those through the process. And then we'll only have to build the remainder to reach our 120 goal. As opposed to what I currently have, which is 14. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. I'm super stressed. Uh, really dis disappointed that this is happening. Um, it's not something I can control, but it is something that I'm supposed to be on top of. And I did, um, I found out on Friday and I did the calculations and... I informed on Monday, so it, I, I mean, I did do what I was supposed to do, and hopefully my boss will go smack some heads and something will happen and we won't have to um, build the full 120 units, I hope, I don't know, Ugh, life is stressful, life is so stressful, I don't know why life has to be so stressful, why can't it just be carefree and easy, why can't I just have a huge house? in like the English countryside and all I have to do is like putter around in my garden or something. How does one get that lifestyle? <laughs> Probably not by living in Southern California and working in the tech industry. I'm guessing. Probably with a trust that you inherited from your grandmama or something along with her china. You know what I inherited from my grandmother? Bad feet. the truth. I inherited bad feet from my grandmother. <laughs> and some dep depression era red glass, which is really beautiful. Um, red glass uh, wine glasses and cordial glasses and all those fun fancy cups that I never use because nobody uses them. Nobody actually drinks out of those things these days. They're beautiful. They sit in a shelf. They're not worth anything though. The depression era of red glass. Anyway, obviously I did not inherit a trust. I do not own a house in the English countryside. I have no garden to potter in. I have a patio garden, which is lovely. <sighs> and I've shown video of before. Girl is stressed out. Um, do you know what I do when I am stressed out? I bust out the Kenza says it focus. Can you read? Focus. Focus. Anyway, there <laughs> single malt scarf scotch. I can talk. Um, cask strength cordial. The gentleman's cordial, a rich dark chocolate shell, holds a mini drum of Scotland's finest. And it was made in Germany. So that's what I do on days like today. I have a chocolate that has liqueur in it, and then I feel slightly better about life. Slightly. Or not. Mm. Anyway, I've been talking for like five minutes about things that probably no one cares about. 
because I am in the situation and honestly I don't particularly care about it. So I'm just going to end that here and hopefully tomorrow I will have happy bubbly other things to talk about. Um, maybe the books I'm reading, maybe the shows I'm watching, maybe something interesting will happen to me in my afternoon and then I'll just be all bubbly and happy about it. But right now all I can focus on is the fact that I have, <laughs> as I said, 14 units and I need 120 by the end of this week or a miracle from God. Miracles are short on the ground, so I'm going to go work. You all have a lovely rest of your day. Peace.